Hi you guys, it's Charlie aka Miss Charlize and welcome to Charlie's Universe. And it's been a few days, but I'm on here to say hello. Hope everyone is doing well out there. As you guys can see, my hair is getting crazy. It is, it's getting crazy, but I don't want to cut it. I want to see if I can do something interesting with it. So, I'm about to re-dye it because the dye is already coming out. And I know that I, I need to not dye it so much, so this is going to be the last time that I dye it for a while. And then just continue to grow it out. Um, but I got me some shower caps for my hair. So that when I have my hair all greased up, and I'm in the shower, don't have to worry about that. I always get the honey blonde color every time I re-dye my hair, so... For the first time ever, I actually bought what they call a man bag. I mean, I guess it's like a man bag, but it was nothing too fancy. It was only nine eighty eight, And I figured since I live in Colorado, I'd get a Colorado Rockies one. So, but it's just like a little bag that I can put my stuff in. Kind of like a purse, but it's not really a purse. It's like a, a backpack. It's got like the straps on the back. a little mini backpack just so that I can carry like my um stuff like my cell phone and all that good stuff in it when I go places so that it's not lying around in the car everywhere so last night was a very dramatic night I went out with a friend we went to Denver and this is why it is so important to stay with the people you go with. Now, of course, Denver is not exactly a familiar territory because we live down here in the spring. So, when you go to places with people, even if it's just two of you, always stay together. Especially if you don't have another way of contacting that person. Because the moment you get lost, it's a fiasco. So, we, ooh. yeah, we went to Charlie's in Denver. I'm not going to say who, but we went to Charlie's in Denver, and we were pretty much together the whole night, you know, just watching each other, making sure each other is okay, having fun, talking, whatever. And... While this person decided to go and smoke, I decided to go out on the dance floor and dance because it was a drag show for most of the night. I just kind of wanted to dance because they had opened the dance floor. So then, as I'm dancing, I go back in there to get my drink that I left on the table. And my friend was talking to my other group of friends, or these other people, I don't know, I didn't really know them. And I was like, you know, pretty much confirmed that I'm going back out to the dance floor. So I go back out to the dance floor while he's conversating with whoever. Probably about 15 minutes later, I go back in there and he's gone. I'm looking around for him like, where is he? Where is he? Freaking the fuck out because I didn't know where he was at. And I figured maybe he went to the bathroom or something. I don't know. Turns out he wound up leaving the building altogether without coming out and telling me where he was going, where he was. Nothing. And so, of course, it was getting close to the time that it was about to leave, or the club was about to close. Couldn't find him anywhere. I freaked out. Literally, I freaked out. My heart would not stop pounding. I was scared. I didn't know where he was. I don't know. And then this person was missing until, what, this morning, this afternoon, I don't know. This afternoon around 2, I got the message saying that the person was okay. And so, um, and then this person didn't proceed to tell me you know, finally told me at the end where he was, but the point to my story is that 
you really realize how much you care for a person when they wind up missing or something. Like, it's like my heart was pounding the whole time. I, I, I think that that was the first time I've really felt anxiety, like, like to where it just wouldn't stop. Like, like to where I, I had no idea what to do, who to call. It's crazy. Point is to always, when you go in groups of people, stay in contact with them. Don't wander off. Be careful who you're around and just love each other, I guess. <laughs> For the most part, I had a good weekend, but yeah, it was pretty dramatic at the same time. <laughs> so, yeah. I just thought I'd come on and share that while I kind of dye my hair in person. And texting at the same time. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm so excited, you guys. I got an iPod. Oh, shit. Getting messy. An actual real iPod. Anyway, you guys, it's about to get real messy and I need to pay attention, so I just wanted to come on and say hi and let you guys know what was going on and make sure everyone was doing okay. So thank you for tuning in so much, you guys, and I will definitely talk to you guys soon. So holla back.